Hi you guys, it's been a hot minute since I've vlogged for YouTube. I just uploaded my summer book recommendation video that should be up today. Well, it will be up already by the time this video goes up, but I thought I would pick up my camera and vlog the next couple of days. I haven't vlogged, like I said, in over a month and I've never taken this long of a break from YouTube. Even when I had my son, I took a week off and then I was back to uploading weekly videos. I really did not expect to take a break in April at least a three to four week break. It just happened. April was so busy for us. A lot of fun family stuff happened in April. My son turned one, so we spent pretty much the whole month celebrating him. We went to the beach, we stayed on a farm. We literally had horses greet us every single day. It was amazing. We had a lot of fun in April, but it was also very, very busy. I was also doing a lot of UGC work, which I talked about on my Instagram, but basically I was working for a lot of brands. Like I was creating content for their social media. So between mom life, wife life, UGC work life, I really didn't have enough time for YouTube. And I've also just been a lot busier now that I'm a toddler mom. Like before my son would take three to four naps a day. Now he's down to two naps and it's getting a lot harder to like find time to film like reading vlogs for example because I no longer read during the day it's very rare when I read during the day all of my reading happens at night and at that point I don't really feel like grabbing my camera and filming at night normally once my son goes to bed that little time that I have before I fall asleep is my own time and that's when I get to do what I want which means scrolling on my phone or reading and like I said I just don't half the time I don't really feel like grabbing my camera but yeah I've been gone, now I'm back. I'm very excited to be back. I have missed YouTube, I have missed you guys, and I'm just really excited to create content again for YouTube. I feel really good, I feel refreshed and re-inspired, and I'm also just going to stop overthinking the type of content that I upload here on YouTube. I'm just going to upload daily vlogs, book recs, book shopping videos, things that I just want to upload. I think I focus so much on filming reading vlogs and weekly reading challenges instead of just uploading what I want and uploading what I can, which is daily vlogs or book recs or book shopping videos, things that are easier to film as a toddler mom that don't take too much time away from my son. I'm still reading, but I just don't have the time to film reading vlogs all the time. I don't know what we're going to get up to these next couple of days. That's an annoying car. Mother's Day is this weekend. Very excited. This is my second Mother's Day. Last year, my son was only a few weeks old. I think he was two weeks old. So he's in a very fun stage right now. He he isn't walking yet. He's almost there. I feel like he gets scared, so he just falls, but he's almost there. He's getting it. And that's just going to open up a whole new world with him walking. I'm very excited, but I'm also very nervous, and I just want to hold him in this stage and this age for as long as possible. But he's in a very fun stage. With that being said, he's a toddler, so obviously he's discovering all of these new emotions and navigating sad emotions while I'm trying to help him navigate those emotions. So that's been very interesting. I feel like everyone talks about terrible twos, which I hate that name, terrible twos. They're just kids and they're just learning about the world for the first time. So let's not call them terrible kids or terrible twos or a terrible stage. That's just my personal opinion. But a one-year-old can put you through it too. But yeah, don't know what we're going to get up to, but I, like I said, I thought I would vlog and say hi. I hope everyone has been doing good. I hope April was very good to all of you and very excited to get back. I finally bought a Kindle. This has been a long time coming. I've been going back and forth for a while trying to figure out if it's even worth it, but I saw that it was on sale, so I decided to grab one and we're going to find out if I am a Kindle girly now. I was going to do an aesthetic unboxing, but I don't have time. So we're just going to unbox her. I just didn't realize how tiny these Kindles were. I mean, I read on my phone now, so obviously it's bigger than my phone, so that'll be good. Also, my son's playing in the background with my tripod, but I'm actually really excited. I got denim blue just to switch it up because I have every electronic possible in black. Hi, me. Can we not throw the Kindle, please? Um, so I thought it would be fun to get the blue one. I actually wanted the green one, but it was a longer delivery time and I'm very impatient, so I just got the blue one. But she's cute. You want to unbox her? Don't drop it, please. A 
officially it's been 24 hours since I unboxed my Kindle. I do need a pop socket because reading this is so awkward without a little pop socket, I feel like. It's just a weird size. I don't know. Anyways, at first I didn't love it. I was thinking of returning it. I even told my husband, I was like, I think I'm going to end up returning this. But then last night, once my son went to sleep, I actually stayed up way past my bedtime and stayed up reading on the Kindle. And then my son woke up around 3, 4 o'clock and he kept waking up. So I decided to just stay awake until he fell into a deeper sleep and I actually started reading on my Kindle and it was just much easier to read on my Kindle than on my phone. Even when I have my phone on the lowest brightness setting, it's still too bright. I feel like the Kindle was definitely easier on my eyes, which that's what it's meant for. I really liked that aspect and it made the Kindle grow on me. I will say that I still don't like the Kindle store on the Kindle. Like I don't like the black and white. Obviously I understand why it's black and white. Again, goes back to being easy on the eyes. But I don't like the Kindle store because everything's black and white and I love to see book covers. Just the whole Kindle store interface is very slow. I don't know if that's all Kindles or maybe I just got a slower Kindle or maybe I need a charger. I don't know. But the Kindle store is really slow on here. So I do prefer keeping the Kindle store on my phone and just downloading the books and transferring them on here. And it just feels glitchy. Like, is that how it's supposed to be? Or do I just have a Kindle that is malfunctioned? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if that's just how the Kindle store is supposed to be. I've never really seen anyone talk about it, but that's one thing I don't like. Other than that, after the first 24 hours with this Kindle, I probably will end up keeping it. I just need to buy a case and a Pop socket. That is my review after having it for 24 hours. I do really like the color. I'm so glad I went with the denim color. Currently, if you care, I am reading To Swoon and to Spar, a novel, which is the fourth book in the Regency Vow series. I have not read any of the other books in the series. I actually downloaded this book from Libby because it sounded really good. It's a historical fiction romance book and it is a marriage of convenience. I'm already about halfway done with it and I started it maybe two days ago. I downloaded on Libby and started reading it on my phone and then I transferred it to the Kindle yesterday. It's very cute. It's like I said, it's a marriage of convenience. The female main character is actually very sassy, which I love. I mean, she's a little too sassy sometimes and it makes me roll my eyes, but it just works for her character and I really like the male main character as well. It also has paranormal elements because the house that they're living in is haunted. I don't want to give too much away in case you haven't read this book, but it's very funny, very cute, and I'm just really liking it. It's also very cozy. It makes me feel like a warm blanket is being wrapped around me as I read it. Definitely recommend it. I don't know if it's on Kindle Unlimited because like I said, I did get it on Libby, but I can check and if it is on Kindle Unlimited, I'll have it on the screen. I actually just finished filming a little UGC video for this bowl. How cute is it? It's from the brand Served. I'm pretty sure they're a startup. They're new, but I freaking love this bowl. I'm not getting paid or they're not sponsoring this video. I just literally just finished filming content for their brand and I'm obsessed with this orange color. I think having a boy has finally made me get over like the whole beige white aesthetic and i'm so into colors right now especially bright fun colors so like i love that this serving bowl is orange normally i wouldn't even entertain a color like that if i'm being honest my son is actually napping right now with his dad and i'm going to make myself a cup of coffee and probably get started on lunch for my boys and also try to clean up the living room because there are legos everywhere well legos for taller size they're not choking hazard because they're really big so I literally can't choke on them but they're everywhere so i'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee this is actually going to be my second cup of coffee today i already had my first one when i woke up and i'm in need of a second one my son is still not sleeping through the night and i've just given up on expecting to sleep through the night i haven't slept through the night in over two years i had really bad pregnancy insomnia i know that his body will eventually adapt and will eventually sleep through the night like everyone keeps telling me just wait one day you're going to wake up and realize that you didn't even wake up once and that your baby slept through the night completely until then I'm going to be very caffeinated. <laughs> these mega blocks for my son's birthday and he absolutely loves them i highly highly recommend my son is really picky when it comes to toys like anything that's not meant for him and that is not a toy he'll play with but he really really 
loves these blocks and I get on the floor with him and I play and I build stuff and then he just takes them apart and he has so much fun doing that. It's definitely messy. You're going to be picking up blocks all day, but it's their childhood. Let them be messy for a little bit. Let them enjoy their toys and have fun. I'd rather have a messy home with a happy kid than the opposite being true. So honestly, I don't mind. And I normally will reset after every nap or before every nap, I should say. I'll reset our home, clean up his toys. So by the time he wakes up, the space will be clean and he won't be so overwhelmed with toys everywhere because babies do get overwhelmed. At least my son, I have noticed that he gets overwhelmed when there are too many toys out. When he wakes up, he goes into his little toy bins and takes out what he wants. It kind of helps minimize mess, but also more importantly, it doesn't overwhelm you and it doesn't overwhelm your baby. So I like to take the time to reset before every nap. I do it before every nap because he still contact naps. Like he's contact napping with my husband right now. And when my husband's at work, he'll contact nap with me. So it's easier for me to just put him on my hip, reset real quickly, and then go nap. It just works out better that way. balls later also my husband's gaming in the background ignore but 400 balls later and the ball pit is still not fully full it's halfway full which isn't bad but these little balls are actually kind of expensive i didn't realize that when i bought my son's ball pit for his birthday but he loves this thing don't you honey <laughs> <laughs> I just finished getting ready and it's actually Mother's Day. I'm so excited for today. I get to spend time with my husband, my baby, and my mother-in-law is actually coming to join us and spend the day with us. I'm very excited to just spend time together as a family. Probably won't be vlogging a lot today because my mother-in-law doesn't really like being around cameras. I don't want to make her feel uncomfortable by pulling out my camera. I just wanted to take the time to say Happy Mother's Day to all the mamas who follow me and I hope you get everything you want today i hope that you have a day of relaxation i hope you get spoiled today and showered with love today because you deserve it just wanted to jump on here real quick to say happy mother's day i got some pajamas for nathaniel placed an order for gat factory which i've never ordered from and all of these were on sale they're all organic all organic cotton and I got 18 months because my boy is pretty big for a 13 month old. A bunch of trucks and pants. I can't believe how big these pajamas are compared to his newborn clothes. They grew up so fast. All of these are sets, so they come with both the top and the bottom. These are super cute little Star Wars. My husband loves Star Wars, so I thought this would be a cute little addition. I got some more trucks because apparently the only thing boys like, according to these brands, are trucks. These are actually really cute. I like them. And then I got a gray pajama set, and these have little red fire trucks all over them. So same deal, super cute. I'll have these linked down below. I think they're still on sale. I got them for a really good deal. I think literally half off, love that. And then I got myself some pajamas because I've been tired of wearing sweatshirts and leggings to bed. Like I actually wanna feel put together when I go to sleep, feel put together when I wake up. So I got some pajamas from Pretty Little Thing. I love fresh is in every damn package. I received a package earlier. They also had a HelloFresh coupon. HelloFresh just works with everyone. Anyways, I have a maternity pajama set from Pretty Little Thing that I absolutely love. I still wear it. It is a little big because obviously it's meant for pregnant women and I'm not pregnant, but it's the most comfortable thing ever. So I decided to pick up more of the pajamas, but not, obviously not the maternity version. Very cute. I got in a size small. I got the matching pants. Sorry, I don't know where my tripod is right now. And then I got the same pink set just in black because you can never have too many black pajamas. And I just really like how these are so just simple, super soft, super cozy. They fit, they look huge and they're a size small, but super cozy. They'll probably shrink a little bit in the wash though. And then I got one last one. I got a brown set that I thought was really Pretty. This one is really cozy. I love it. All of this was on sale too, by the way. If it's still available, I'll link it below. But I got a brown pajama set. And these are the bottoms, just drawstring bottoms. 
don't sleep on Pretty Little Thing. I know they get a bad rap, but I've never had an issue with them. And I really, at least their pajamas. I haven't really tried anything else. Their pajamas are literally my favorite and they're super affordable. So that's what I got for me and baby boy. Necessary actually sent me their rosemary shampoo and conditioner, which I have been using as brand for years. I use their body lotion and their hand lotion as well. They're such cute aesthetic bottles. I love their packaging. All of their packaging is always so simple, but so aesthetic. And I love that these are green. Normally their packaging is white and black, but they added this green packaging and I think so, so beautiful. So I'm very excited to try their shampoo and conditioner. I'll have them linked down below if you guys want to check it out. Flex has a bunch of crumbs thanks to my son. But this is actually a UGC brand deal that I have to do from the brand Daily Look. To try out for a video, which probably won't show you guys everything just because I think I need to do an unboxing, so I don't want to ruin how it looks. But they just sent me some clothes so I can create content for them, which I'm very excited about. This is such a cool and That is my little haul. Now, time to throw everything in the laundry, throw away the packaging, and clean up. <laughs> so tired you guys but i just took an everything shower and put some laundry away now i am literally ready for bed except my little one is not down yet so i can't go to bed quite yet uh, we're about to get started on his bedtime routine honestly his sleep has been all over the place these past few days i don't know if he's trying to drop down to one nap or what but sleep has just been so hard these last few days harder than normal i've been trying to like get his sleep back on track with two naps but it's not working so i think i'm gonna have to maybe just drop one nap because these last couple days he's been taking a second nap at like six o'clock and obviously that is way too late and before daylight savings he used to fall asleep around 6 37 which was great <laughs> but now he's not falling asleep till way later he keeps waking up from his 6 p.m nap and he never used to take a nap at 6 p.m he used to always nap at 10 in the morning and then take a second nap around three and then go to bed around again six or seven o'clock but lately that second nap has been happening later and later and i think his body is trying to figure out the whole one nap per day situation so that just has been exhausting i don't even know what time he's gonna go to bed today today he had a pretty pretty early nap which is good he napped at four which is still kind of late but not as late as napping at 6 p.m so we'll see what time he goes to sleep tonight he's actually with my husband in the living room right now they're playing don't know if you hear him but i'm gonna take some time to myself before i start his bedtime routine i think i'm gonna start just for the summer by abby he menace again just take a few minutes for myself maybe 10 15 minutes for myself read a little bit so i can enter bedtime in a positive mood <laughs> with a positive mindset so with that being said i think i'm gonna end off this vlog here because i literally don't know what else to put in this vlog my days are so repetitive as a mom oh before i go i finally did get a case for my kindle and i got a pop socket which makes me so freaking happy and it's so much easier to read i'm really loving the kindle i know i'm going to read a paperback right now but that's only because i bought this during amazon's book sale but if i could read just for the summer on my kindle i would i'm really loving the kindle since getting the kindle i've already read i want to say like three or four books on this thing it's just so much easier instead of reading paperback and using a reading light at night or reading on my phone so i'm really liking it very happy with my purchase i know at first i was debating whether or not to return it but i'm keeping it and i really like it and i really like this pop socket and the case was only six bucks literally cheaper than the pop socket i think the pop socket was 10 bucks that's my little kindle update <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed watching if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe i would love to have you a part of my channel and i'll see you guys in the next one